What's up? Guys, Chris Stevens has done it. He has overcame all the odds. And he has valiantly won the World Heavyweight Championship. <sighs> Might I be the first to congratulate you on becoming the new world champion. You know, I've seen you throughout your career from NXT to Raw. Okay. I've seen you, you know, become the best superstar of NXT. You know, you, you, you beat the guy who beat Mario, who was the top guy in NXT, you know. You fought so effortlessly, effortlessly, you fought so effortlessly hard to get to where you're at, you know, and I'm proud of you, man, you know, I've, I've, I've seen you on NXT, and you know, you were the, you were the guy, you were the man, you were the top prospect, the chosen one, as Mario would have called you, the next chosen one, at least, you know, we've seen you go to the main roster and struggle, and I mean struggle, man, I mean, we, th me personally, I thought you were the Jamarcus Russell of the WWE. That's me personally. But, you know, and that's that's only because I've I've seen your peers, you know, uh, just like how you've seen your peers like Christopher Michaels, Suicide Savage, Victor, Andy Gates, uh, Quest and, you know, many more come onto the main roster and just become the become a world champion, an ECW champion, you know, many more. And, you know, I mean, that's heartbreaking. You know, you were the you were the man on NXT, and then you, you just see all those guys that you were better than win title after title after title. Don't, don't get me wrong, you know, you, you've been the U.S. champion multiple times. You know, you were the longest reigning call producer NXT champion in FRJ Productions history. That's a feat of its own. And, you know, I mean... Like I said, you know, you've seen all of these guys from NXT that you were better than pass you up. Look at, look at, look at Victor. He's ha he's the WWE World Champion again. Oh my God, Michaels. What what is he? A, a three-time World Champion now? Two-time ECW and a, a former World Heavyweight Champion? Suicide Savage even won his first World Championship before you, man. And then next thing you know, you know, you fight Suicide Savage at SummerSlam, and you beat him. To become the new World Heavyweight Champion, you know, and I mean that's just awesome. Cause I went for I went I went for Savage when he fought Michaels, and then he won. And then I went for you when you fought Savage, and you won. So like I said, man, nothing but absolute respect. You came from the bottom. You started off on top from the bottom, but then you started from the bottom as everybody else started going to the top, and now. You're at the mountaintop, you are at your highest peak, and you are the world champion. I don't, I don't know what else there is to say, man. There, there almost isn't anything to say other than congratulations, celebrate like it's your birthday. I don't know, I was going to say a year or something, but you know what I mean? How many how many of you guys are born from like the eighties or the nineties? Like come on man, you guys are a lot of you guys are born from the two thousands, so party like it's uh Y two Y party like it's Y two K Or your birthday. Either one works. But again, congratulations, Chris Stevens. The new world heavyweight champion. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. You know, it's stories like this that make people want to watch professional wrestling, whether it's on games or it's the real deal. But nonetheless, it's awesome. But don't get too excited, Chris Stevens, because you do have a rematch with Suicide Savage at the next pay-per-view. That's going to be a one-on-one -on -one contest. You know? You might not even walk out with the World Heavyweight Championship. Maybe Suicide Savage will win it back. Or maybe you'll retain. You know, that'll be awesome. Just to lose it to me, you know. 
Mr. Money in the Bank. Because in a matter of seconds, I can be your next world heavyweight champion. But nonetheless, good luck. <laughs> You're going to need it.